Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to use our library Just Keep Learning resource. And as always, if you have any questions, please contact me via email and I will help you out however I can. So I'm going to share my screen and we are going to start on the middle school website. And this will show you how to get to the Just Keep Learning resource. Okay, so we've got the middle school website here. What you're going to do is click library. This is actually going to bring you to the high school page. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to browse all of the great things that the library has to offer on the side here, and then end up on Just Keep Learning. So Just Keep Learning is a resource that I created because we understand that sometimes students need more information and more stuff that they can do. Sometimes they need, they need less, it differs by the student. And sometimes we need a break. Just as humans, sometimes our brains need a break. So if you're looking for something fun and interesting that you can do with your students, um, or you can give to your students and they can pick and choose, this is a great resource. So we've got take a course or classes. These I need to update and make sure that they're all still valid, um, just because with the end of the year, some things expired. But Universal Class is still available. And this is available to anyone that has a public library card. And I want to emphasize this. If a student does not have a library card to the public library, A, best way to do that would be to call the library and get one. But I can help with that. So if a student does not have that, please have them contact me if they, would not, if they don't want to call the library themselves and we can arrange something. This has a lot of different courses, including dream interpretation. So a lot of interesting ones that you could take. The second one is learn stuff with these sites. This um, is just a collection of websites that I found really interesting, really uh, full of learning information, and also just fun stuff. So we've got Hour of Code if you're looking for computer coding, programming, anything like that, and something fun because often these um, things that you're coding are games. <clears throat> So if you're looking for an instructional activity that ends in a fun activity, which is usually a game, this is a great place to go, Hour of Code or code.org. We've got PBS Learning Media, which probably most people are um, familiar with, lots of great videos. We've even got some workshops like Soundwaves or the Nova Polar Lab. We've got Khan Academy, you know, very in-depth, learning resource, TED Ed, TED Talks, instructional stuff, the Smithsonian Learning Lab. We've got EBSCO Learning Express. If a student is interested in test prep of any sort, career prep, course skills, refreshers, these are all things that you can find on Learning Express because they really focus on um, providing practice tests and um, study guides for a lot of different things, college prep, career prep, all that good stuff. We've got Vermont Historical Society, Ask a Biologist, Ask an Anthropologist, New York Times Lesson of the Day. And my very favorite is Google Arts and Culture. Google Arts and Culture, I can't recommend enough. It has games, it has silly fun things, it has art, it has self-portrait making, um, so activities, it has virtual field trips, it has so many collections from museums around the world, themes, experiments, uh, just it is chock full of great information and great activities. If you have not checked out the Blob Opera, <laughs> I cannot recommend it enough because it is, ugh, it's the most hilarious thing. So you drag, you drag the blobs to make noise and they sing opera. <laughs> so like I said, highly recommend, have a great time with Google Arts and Culture. Our next section is virtual field trips. Super important right now. It's hard to get out the door, to go anywhere except for school because there's a pandemic. And it's also winter. And as beautiful as that is, it doesn't make it any easier to go places. So 
U.S. Constitution, you can visit National Constitution Center. You can visit a planetarium, 360 cities, that's 360 tours of cities. We've even got House of Seven Gables, uh, British Museum, Belber Museum, the Uffizi, the Louvre, some zoos, some aquariums, national parks. We've got the White House. We've got shipwreck tours from Lam Lake Champlain Maritime Museum. We've got Sistine Chapel in the Vatican. We've got the Met. We've got even Universal Studios. Or if you're looking for something more natural, there are some caves. That's the largest cave in the world. We've got Mount Rushmore, Virtual Disney, Ellis Island, Access Mars, more national parks, the Acropolis. So many great virtual field trips that you can go on um, or have your students go on. I highly recommend checking out these virtual field trips because while we can't travel, this is a way that we can do it safely. And we also have a collection of YouTube videos. These are just some YouTube channels that were recommended to me by other teachers and that I wanted to put on there myself. We've of course got Crash Course, you know, one of the amazing resources that we have for learning on the on the YouTube. <laughs> we have National Geographic, we have the History Channel, Minute Physics, Smarter Every Day, and then a bunch of astronomy space information. So I highly recommend checking out these YouTube videos. If you don't know who Jarrett J. Kraschka is, he is an amazing author and illustrator out of Massachusetts. Worcester, actually, and he does a wonderful job drawing every day for students to help learn them learn how to illustrate, how to doodle, all that good stuff. So highly recommend checking out his work as well as his memoir, Hey Kiddo, which is a graphic novel memoir. So lots of great resources for YouTube channels. So many fun virtual field trips. Lots of great resources for just learning in general and some courses that you can take. As always, if you need any help from the library, I am here to help and excited to help. That's just keep learning. I hope you will share it with your students or you can show them this video if you like. And if you need anything or if they need anything, the library is always here to help at my email address or you can go to our library website and see what we can do for you. Have a great day, Lancers.